Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 3. Last time was the most epic episode we've had thus far. Um, the behemoth is no more, um, and we found out that Thrakath ended the life of Blair's uh, love interest in Angel, or his, you know, serious girlfriend, perhaps even wife. Uh, just totally, totally heart-wrenching and gut-wrenching um, feelings that we're experiencing right now. Um, one final thing I'll say that I didn't say last time is you got to feel bad for Admiral Tallwin. I mean, his 10-year project of the behemoth just went completely awry, and we got to get to the bottom of this and find out why. Uh, well, we can't go in there. Uh, we can't get a new mission, so let's uh, explore the rest of the ship, see what's going on. Hey, there's Rachel there. Maybe she can uh, shed some light on this. zeroed in on that soft spot. I guess, uh, Frank have zoomed in on yours, too. I feel for you, Colonel. Do you want some company? She's okay. She understands. Ah, the hell with it. Have another drink. Now, you do not want to select this option, viewers, because, well, it's going to greatly affect uh, what we're about to do next. She's she definitely understands it. I mean, think about it. She understands. Who wouldn't want the company of an adult film star? Hey-oh! Yeah. 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 Hey, if you get a bulkhead or something, get it out somehow, okay? Don't wait till you get in the cockpit. No, not now. This is like the worst time possible. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, here we go. Let's do this. Okay. Now, but where are these fighters that are attacking us? I don't get this. Okay. Now, we are actually... This is another mission, viewers, where we're going to eject. Because it has no effect on the storyline, and it is... Well, this is easily the most difficult mission in Wing Commander 3. Now... What do we immediately start off with? Three Corvettes. Now, Back my target. unfortunately, if, if you send Hobbs, who is a fine winger, if you send him to take care of this, he will get himself killed, and you have no chance of surviving uh, this mission, because you definitely need your winger. So we're going to go help him out. Now, here's how we're going to go about doing this. Uh, we're just going to start by making strafing runs on this thing. So just start attacking it, and as soon as it starts to get its guns on you, turn away. Now, you could have done this technique in the past, but before, when you had to eliminate Corvettes, you could just send your wingman off to do it. And if there's only one, I would send my wingman off to do it, for sure. But because there's three of them, I'm not going to take that chance. Now, another strategy that you could use is to try and take out um, the Corvette's white gun there, which easily is the most powerful gun. That, and it, you know, that thing can just carry it. Okay, we got it. Now, should you be able to do that, what you can do is you can just kind of hang out, match speed behind it, while Hobbs distracts it and just fire away. And boom. Gone. Oops. Okay. Let's go get this next one. And that's the strategy for taking out these Corvettes. Now again, I said you could have done this earlier, but, you know, with single Corvettes, the wingman can do it. One final thing I'll say about that is this. Um, the w if you choose to have another drink in um, the previous part... Um, there will be random times where you, where the controls of your ship will change. Like, usually, uh, you know, you push up to go down, down to go up, left to go left, and right to go right. But, if you choose to have another drink, occasionally what can happen is, you know, your, your command, your controls will not respond the way that, ah, so you ask why you gotta be careful. Um, your controls will not respond the way that, uh, you want them to. So, that's what you need to be careful Okay, so let's take one more pass at this Corvette. Uh, yeah, I'll trade these because this is pretty, this is tough. Uh, 
As soon as you, as soon as you immediately get the hint of being slaughtered, go away. Uh, unfortunately, we have to kill these cor Corvettes because autopilot's not allowed. All right, come on, Hogs. Ah, shit. Oh yeah, Sheffield's here. I forgot about that. Enemy target destroyed. Now you could use Sheffield, and in fact, we're gonna do that. We're gonna hang out. Hobbs form up. We'll let Sheffield take care of this one. Because he can. I think he can, anyway. What's your status? No problems, Colonel. Oh, maybe he can't. Okay, never mind. I thought he could. My target. So I guess we're gonna have to. So anyways, strategy's the same. Um, so I'll meet you up once uh, this Corvette is taken care of. Good. Now, immediately what you want to do is you want to turn on your afterburners and start heading towards Sheffield. Because we see another Corvette, and we have Vac Tots. Oh yeah. Also, you want to pull Hobbs away from, because he'll go after that Corvette. And the Vac Tots will immediately go for Sheffield. And remember, since Sheffield's uh, lasers can't hit us, we might as well go and get his assistance. And the Vac Tots can launch missiles, launch missiles against Sheffield. And here they come. So you got to be careful of that. And we're going to go and attack them and try and take these back shots out and help them out. And you, make use of Sheffield because, you look, they're all ready. I mean, they're just going to town. you got to be kind of fast here. I'm coming, Sheffield. I'm coming, buddy. Crap. Yeah, and just like that, they got it. So, yeah, that was uh, quite a disaster there. So sometimes it lasts longer, sometimes it doesn't. So now it's just going killing, killing these back toss. If at some time you feel like ejecting in this mission or you need to, go ahead and do it. If there's no shame in this mission for ejecting. Um, I'll also post a link, or not a link, but I'll post the amount of enemies you got to fight to let you know why it's just smart to eject. Um, I just don't even bother with it. Um, this mission, I think we may, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to eject on the next mission yet. Um, i got to play through it a couple more times just to make sure. But... Okay, so now we're going to take care of these back toss just like normal. Uh, okay, same shred as usual. Just, just, there we go. Got it. Nice. And uh, we'll meet you back once they're dead. And the fun doesn't stop there, viewers. Watch this. Two, four, six, eight. That's right, viewers. We have to deal with eight darkets at once. Now you may think, oh, darkets, that's easy. Not when there are not when there's eight of them. Now, you can bet what the strategy is. Let your missiles go. And don't be afraid to make use of your uh, heat seeker. There we go. Of your heat seeker missiles. Because some occasionally that's all you got. Come on. Come on. Unfortunately, while a lot of them are going after Hobbs, for some reason they're trying to target Hobbs. I guess they're mad that he's defecting. Um, you can just Wait, wait, no, just kind of wail away from behind like this. Yeah, don't go for that Corvette, Hobbs. Uh-oh. Crap. Now, if that happens, you're definitely going to want to be, uh, you're going to want to eject at some point, because there's no way that you can handle all this firepower at once. So, you get no shame in this at all. Come on. Boom. Got it. Yeah, I mean, if your wing line goes down, you're pretty much screwed. So, now I'm going to take out these darkets like normal. Good. And, come on now. Whoa, yikes. Don't run into them either, of course, because if you do that, especially after taking this much damage, your ship has a very good chance of blowing up. And now... Okay, let's take out this dark hit. Be right back. Come on, I get him here. Cool, got it. All right. Now, unfortunately, you can't auto out of this zone either, which is, which sucks. So, what we're going to, hey, you know what? I'm out of here. Screw it. And we'll continue. Yep, no shame in that, viewers. Absolutely none. So yeah, viewers, as you can see uh, from the list to the right there in the, in the video description part, 
uh, you know, you can see the fighters that we have to fight. Six Drowthies plus six more Drowthies in a row. And then in the next zone, it's four Vactoths, six Vactoths. It's it's just not worth it. Since you're, uh, you know, even more so since you're probably going to be uh, out of missiles and more than likely out of a wingman by that point, it's not worth it. And since this mission has no effect on the outcome of the game, no point in doing it. I just wanted to get those eight Darkets out of the way uh, so we can rack up our kills. But I'm out of, almost out of time, so I need to stop. Next time, we'll continue to see what's going on here in the Alcor system and see what we can do uh, now that the Kilrathi have destroyed our behemoth. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.